I really enjoyed this show. The it's a lot of fun. It gets going right away. Uh what can you both tell me about Cole and Max and, and how they get along? <laughs> well, basically, Max is, you know, this uh con artist. Ellis is um, you know, he's working what do you is it called Marine Patrol? <laughs> Mar- Maritime, Maritime Mina. Mina. Yeah. Imitating, <laughs> so imitating our show because she's saying it wrong in the show and I keep correcting her. Yeah. Which is, this is amazing. <laughs> this is all playing. Whatever that is. Whatever that is. Maritime yes, Mina. Yes. I'm a he, demoted detective. Yep. He's trying to get off the boat and back onto his desk. Anyways, so um, basically, then I'm uh, because I have a particular skill set, as I say on the show, um, I start working with the cops um, to try and, you know, solve these uh, cases. And yeah, we end up having this like really fun, interesting dynamic. Um, Max is kind of constantly trying to pull the fun out of Alice. <laughs> you want to add anything? It's a, hard, it's a hard job, too. It is a hard he's, job, he's but she funnest, loves it. He's not the funnest guy. She's up for the uh, challenge. Yeah, he's a, he's wound a little tight, but uh, but Max Max helps kind of you know relax him and and, and ease some of the fun out of uh, out of Cole. But uh, yeah, no, I think I think they really complete each other in a way in a yin yang kind of sense. And um, uh, wherever Cole has sort of a weakness, it it's sort of of course naturally her strength and vice versa, right? Um, also the things that, a, that a criminal can get away with aren't things that I, as a cop can do, right. I have to work within certain limits and rules and laws and regulations where she feels comfortable violating those at any time, um, with no consequences, of course. So, um, so it makes for a really fun sort of dynamic between us solving crimes, you know, me by the book, her more thinking outside of the box ways and together, you know, we're, we're hopefully by the end of every episode solving a great crime. And it does often feel like Cole is the one who's maybe the brunt of the joke <laughs> when Max is is making a joke sometimes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was I was speaking with the producers in the beginning of uh, we were talking about the comedic tone and the elements of it and like how it works. And I was saying, I think a lot of the co- Ellis's comedy comes from his silences and Max's comedy comes from her speech, right? Her jokes, the things she's saying, what she's, what she's, what she's talking about and what she's doing often. There's a lot of physical humor and comedy in our show as well. So, um, so that's, I, I felt like the the dynamic. Well, Vanessa, what's it like playing this very unique, charming character who's kind of at one minute kind of vibrant and then the next kind of dark? <laughs> um, I guess I wouldn't really describe her as dark, but like she's she's uh, definitely vibrant for sure. And yeah, there's definitely sometimes where she gets into the more uh, serious tone, like when she's like, "Oh, like okay, this is a real situation," like, and I do have maybe some trauma in my past, so I'm going to take that seriously. But um, it, it's really fun. I, I like the lightheartedness of Max and how she, you know. She really tries to look at the world. I, I just like her, like her mindset and how she looks at the world and um, not taking things too seriously. It's fun. And and what's what's your scene partner like to work with? <laughs> is he is he a good uh, co star? Oh, he's the best. We I, I was very I was very very lucky like to be you know, with somebody every single day, you never know who you're going to get your personalities. I feel like both our personalities, they mesh very well. We have our, we both have our different little work ethics and they work, we help each other out. It's just, it's, um, it's a good partner to have for these long, very long days, you know? Um, so I think we're both really lucky, um, uh, in that aspect. I think a lot of the times, you know, our, our surrounding cast, uh, who aren't working as much as as we were, you know, on set are are you know having a really great time and they're socializing and they're <laughs> they're catching up with what they're doing on the weekend. And then you have Vanessa and I in some corner and we're just you know rattling off our scene. We're going because the volume of material that we have to cover in a day. Um, you know, you've just seen the pilot, which isn't always representative exactly about the sort of balance of the show going forward. But um, but it is. And mm-hmm. and, you know, there are shows that are much more ensemble shows where you you really right. feel like there's an evening of, you know, five to eight characters and every episode is really showcasing them all. This this show isn't really like that. It's really about 
Max and Ellis. And, you know, Vanessa and I are in pretty much every single scene every single day. So uh, we it was nice to have, like Vanessa said, someone who like we just got along right away. We understood how each other worked. We had our own ways of working, but we we always came together and helped each other out and helped each other run scenes. And and, and you know, we, we fought a lot to 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 really make it good and to improve every scene. And so we put a lot of heart into it and I hope it shows and uh, I'm excited for people to to watch it. Yeah, it's funny you said that, too, because I, I would always be worried, like, with the other, like, you know, guest stars and co-stars. It's like, oh, it sucks they're not getting to see the side of me that, like, likes to, like, play and have fun or, like, have conversations about the weekend. But it's just, you know, you get to see that side because you're with me all the time. But, like, other than that, I couldn't socialize on on the big days. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't uh, partake. So they probably didn't think I was as social, you know. Exactly. That's, a, that's what I mean. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, speaking of guest stars, we've got to talk about Jason Priestley. Yeah. Uh, how cool is that? What's what's he like to work with? He's great. Yeah, he he was that was a dream casting for me. Um, he was a great TV dad. We got along great, very professional. Yeah, really great guy. He's a sweetheart and uh Canadian legend, and uh it was so cool to to share the screen with him. I had a lot of really fun scenes with him uh sort of playing her father there's a lot of scenes in the in the season where you know he's sort of interviewing me and uh you know this this guy who's hanging out with his daughter and so he's trying to suss me out and so we've had a lot of fun fun times and his character's really fun in the show right his characters live this wild life as a master con artist doing crazy wild things he's full of stories and so uh jason uh played it beautifully and we we, we had a lot of fun on the show together that's awesome I would also say, I mean, obviously they're they're different in many ways, but it this show also feels like a bit of a uh not a sequel, but in the same universe as his last show. Like yeah, I love yeah, that. Some other people have commented on that as well. It's a great thing. Just get to play the criminal. <laughs> yeah, right. It, it's fantastic. What's it like working on the show? What are the actual like behind the scenes moments like? Because you know, you're working with disguises. You've got a, a fair bit of action. You've got, you know, kind of the the fun, jokey bits, but you've also got drama. Uh, what's that like to come together? Yeah, I think it was like a division of uh, of responsibilities. I think the the action kind of stuff, uh, and you'll see more as the season goes on, really kind of falls on on me and my character. And then in terms of like the disguises and accents and funny costumes and different things that you know, obviously, really falls on Vanessa's character. And and so. Um, you'll you'll really see you know her grow as a con artist over the show and me as a cop over the show um and uh yeah it's just cool to see them work together i think uh, this sort of odd couple unlikely pairing uh which has been done you know a million times it's not like we're reinventing the wheel here but i think seeing these specific two unique people together is 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 really exciting and i think they complete each other in a really uh unique and fun way Vanessa, for you is it is it challenging? Is it just another another ability you just kind of turn on? And what's it like doing you know, all these disguises and accents and everything else? Oh, of course, it's it's challenging. Um, it's definitely very challenging. Um, a lot of different material combined with having to learn accents and things like that. But it's also so fun. Like I couldn't have asked for for my next stage in life and my next acting role to be Max. Um, it's just such a fun character to play and getting to see it live when I just watched the pilot two days ago. Um, yeah, getting, getting to see that and doing that. I'm like, Oh, that's really fun. That's a, it's, it's really fun. And what's Vancouver like as your background for this series? It's not, I don't think it's explicitly named, but it obviously is Vancouver. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was a strange thing of like you know, we, we played around with it a lot in the beginning. There was a lot of things thrown around of like we're going to play Vancouver. We're not going to play Vancouver. OK, we will, but we're not going to say it. So there was a lot of sort of. But finally, we ended on that, you know, we weren't going to shy away from showcasing the city and how beautiful it is and that we're in Canada. Uh, but yes, no, we are not expressly naming it Vancouver. We sort of came up with this fix of calling it Metro. So Metro Police Department, sort of our city. Um, but, uh, but anybody who knows anything about that side of the world knows that we are very much in Vancouver. Uh, one of the most beautiful locations is my character's boat where we have a lot of really, really beautiful scenes. Vanessa and I, usually the recaps of most episodes end us up on the boat and it's where we kind of sit down and we kind of talk and think about this big, long day that we've had. Right. 
and we sort of debrief on on the episode. And those are some of the nicest scenes and 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 visually mo- most beautiful scenes uh, on on the show. Mm-hmm. Stunning. Do you have a favorite episode? Is there one that stood out for you for something you got to do or just was a great story? Um, I think you don't have to me, spoil it, of course, but yeah, I think for me, um, you know, I love the pilot episode, but if I had to say just for like getting out and doing things and just for like a storyline that like I could picture myself writing because I do write as well, um, would be is it episode four with the coven, the witches. Is that episode four? That's three. Oh, three. Episode three, then. I'm not going to say much, but just, yeah, there's a cut. That's great. And, uh, yeah. My favorite would be, uh, to not spoil it, um, there's one where uh, Max and Ellis work on their personal issues that is very oh, fun yes. and entertaining to me. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, I, I was saying this in some of the other interviews. I think what's so fun and and sort of, like, exciting about Wild Cards as a show is even though it, it sort of, like, falls into the procedural uh, world, every episode is so different. It's not – you're not just ending up on some, you know, alley or street corner with a yellow cab behind it with a dead body where you're like, okay, we've seen this show 100,000 times, boring, next channel. You know, every episode is so unique, and we're in all these incredible, exciting locations – um, so the audience can really expect to every episode, see something completely different. And, uh, so I'm really excited to, to get people watching it and, and hear their reaction. That's awesome. Well, thank you both for the time. I really appreciate it. 